Happy New Year. It's January the 1st, 2009, and I'm at Bagridge Country Park. I've just uh, arrived, and I'm getting my boots on, sitting in the back of the car, as it were. Wrap up warm today, it's a freezing cold day, as I'm sure you will see from some of the photos that, uh, that will appear in the video, and of course, the video film itself as well. But what better way to start a new year than to get your binoculars and have a wander around Bagridge Country Park. Let's see what we can find. It's a green finch there. There's a flock of about 20 in trees around the car park area. And a single gold finch in with them as well, although that's just flown off. So I haven't been able to capture that. This is the bag pool. Like all the other pools at Bag Ridge at the moment, it's frozen over, solid, and the ice is quite thick as well. I wouldn't like to walk on it, but Twinkle's just been on, and it's quite safe for her, particularly around the edge. As you can see from the, the frost on the trees, it's a very cold day. It's 12 o'clock, so it's not exactly the crack of dawn, but it's a very, very cloudy day. It's a still day. We're in the cold spell still. It's been with us for a, a good week or so. There's the tawny owl. I say the tawny owl because it's a regular bird. I'm in Whiteswood and a lot of people know about this bird. Even people that don't actually bird watch know about it and often ask about it and ask if you've seen it. It's a bit of a local celebrity. Just uh, pulling back now so you can see the bird there. It's the top of uh, an English oak tree in White's Wood. There it is. I stand corrected about my earlier comment concerning all the pools being frozen over. This is the spring pool and it's still ice free. There is a good flow coming in and a good flow going out so that's helping to to keep the water free from ice. There are quite a few black-headed gulls on the water as you can see there just zooming in on some of them let's focus on the uh, bird there are two there grey heron actually in the water in the margins on the far bank of the spring pool I don't think the fish will be very active today though but there it is the grey heron I'm by the upper wishing pool and there's a flock of about 30 siskin in one of the trees feeding away can't really make them out too good on the camcorder but can see them feeding there just pulling back the tree to a common alder it's uh, covered in frost Behind me is the upper wishing pool, one of a series of ponds here at Baggeridge. Most of it is frozen over but there's a certain section which is still open water and a minute or so ago I saw a kingfisher plunge into the water and come back with a small silver fish about an inch long 
it then went to a, an overhanging branch over the pond where it uh, proceeded to eat the fish. I've been around since and I will continue to see if I can capture the kingfisher on film. That would be that would be great but very elusive birds and very active and on the move so I won't be holding my breath on that one. The siskin are still in the area though. I have uh, watched them and uh, looked really at each individual bird to see if there are any red poll in with the flock but they're all siskins. I'm back at the car. I've had a couple of hours or so birding and really enjoyed it. I take my notebook with me. This uh, accompanies me on all my trips and I write down what I see. The funny thing is I can remember what happened in my life 20 years ago. I can't remember what I saw an hour ago. I must be getting old. But today I've had, uh, had a good day. Uh, green woodpecker, um, green finch, goldfinch, um, tawny owl of course, nuthatch, saw several nuthatches, a little grebe, um, the spring pool, there were 57 adult winter plumage birds and six first winter birds. I know I'm an anorak counting them. Uh, the siskins, goldcrest, uh, stock dove and kestrel. So a great start to the new year and hope to build on that as we go on.